well, I am so sorry to have to be the one to have to tell you this, but those swimmers don't just stop when one meets the egg. The rest of them just keep going. And so while the whole group of them will eventually meet an egg and fertilize and hopefully make a baby, the rest of them just continue on their merry way, just traveling through that fallopian tube until they get to the end of the fallopian tube, which as you remember, is actually open to your abdominal cavity. It is not connected to the ovary. And so then all those little swimmers reenact that scene from The Lion King where all the antelopes are flying over the cliff. Same thing happens right here, just inside your pelvis. My friend Josh described this as the graveyard for sperm. Um, and that's kind of what it is. It kind of has the ghosts of fun times past just hanging out there for a little bit. Now you don't just have like puddles down there for the rest of your life. Your body breaks up all that product and it'll all go away. But it is true that it just continues going through and hangs out in your abdominal cavity for a little while. Uh, they don't just stop. Isn't the human body amazing? You learn something new every single day.